Good morning, Next Gen. This is Pastor Ken. I hope you guys are doing well this morning. First, I want to thank those who have been praying for me. Some of you know, some of you heard in last week's video that my grandfather died. My grandfather passed away, but he was a Christian. He loves the Lord. He's in heaven right now uh, rejoicing. And so I'm so happy for him. I'm sad for us because we miss him, but I'm happy for him because he is with the Lord. So if you were praying for me and my family, thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. Uh, I just got back. I was in the wild, wonderful, wacky, not really wacky, but in the wild, wonderful state of Wyoming. Uh, up north of here and the weather was nice it was snowy but it was nice but just the other day they had a high temperature of 10 degrees 10 degrees that was the hottest it got 10 degrees so uh, wow 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 uh, but I made it back this week uh, just the other day and we're here for Sunday morning and this morning I want to look with you to the book of James if you have your Bible open to the back it's at the very end of the Bible here's all this stuff in front of the book of James there's not much after the book of James James chapter 1 James chapter 1 in James chapter 1 there's some verses at the end of the chapter that I love I love them because I need them I need to be reminded of them listen to what it says in James chapter 1 verse number 22 it says but be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourself be doers of the word and not hearers only um, the two type of people come to church every week or two type of people hear the Bible every week there are doers and there are hearers James says and James knows what he's talking about how do we know that James knows what he's talking about well James is not the disciple James. It wasn't James the brother of John who wrote the book of James. We believe it was James the brother of Jesus. Did you know that? Did you know Jesus had brothers and sisters? Uh, the Bible tells us that in the Gospels that it wasn't just Mary and Joseph and Jesus. Jesus had brothers and sisters and the Bible says one of them was named James. And church history tells us that this guy James went on to be the pastor of the church at Jerusalem. And we believe that he's the James who wrote this book. So James is talking and he's saying two types of people, hearers and doers. A hearer of the word, James says, is someone who just goes on Sunday morning or opens up their Bible or hears someone else talking about the Bible. And that's all they do. They just hear it talked about they don't do anything about it they just hear it and man if you, you come on Sunday morning or if you get online and you watch you can hear some good things you can hear how to obey your parents you can hear how to love others you can hear how to follow the Lord that's good but really what good is it if you don't do anything with it James says to be a doer of the word Okay, a doer of the word hears the word, okay, they tune into church, they go to church, they listen, but they don't just leave it there. Then they go and do something about it. They actually work to obey their parents. They actually work hard to love others. They try to do what they heard about. Guess what? Here's the bad news. There's a lot of people who hear the word of God but there's not a lot of people who actually do it. Listen to how this verse goes on. Verse number 23, it says this, For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. Okay, so someone who's just a hearer, he goes and he gets in front of the mirror and he looks at himself, maybe he brushes his teeth, he combs his hair, he does all this. Uh, someone who's a hearer of the word, they go and look in the mirror, but look what it says. They look at their natural face in the mirror, for he looks at himself, verse 24, and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. Okay, so it'd be like this. A hearer of the word, they get up in the morning, they go in the bathroom, their hair is like everywhere, okay, their face is a mess, they've got drool coming out the side of their mouth, they haven't brushed their teeth. And they look in the mirror and they go, oh man, 
I got a lot of work to do. And then they just leave. They don't brush their hair, comb their hair. They don't wipe the drool off the side of their mouth, okay? They don't brush their teeth. That's what someone who is a hearer is like. They see the problem, but they don't do anything about it. A doer, verse 25, but the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer and who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his deed. Okay, the person who looks into God's law, who listens to the message and does something about it, Man, they're the one who is going to be blessed. They're the one who God is going to work in their life. They're the one who God is going to take care of. We have got to be doers of the word, not just hearers only. Man, that's a good warning for me this morning. I think that's a good warning for all of us. Because if you're here, if you're seeing me, that means you're a hearer of the word, at least. I hope you're not just a hearer, though. I hope you're also a doer. Let me pray with you. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this word of warning from the book of James, from Jesus' brother. Lord, help us not to just be hearers, but to also be doers, to do the things that you called us to do. Lord, we love you and we thank you that you teach us those things. Would you help us to do them as well? In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, we'll see you later. See you next week. Bye-bye.